Okay, we have some Made in New York City factory footage. Um, I'm going to talk about some of these. This is uh, Lady mm -hmm. and I, um, we have an overlapping shift with some of the folks. Yes. And then we're often doing things uh, with the machines off. Um, it's weird at Adafruit at, at night or during the day when there's not as much activity. So sad. Um, but, you know, we're operating safe, we're operating smart, and so far... 50 plus days ish and no one's gotten ill and we're really proud of that on uh, nam.org you can go there right now and you'll see a story about an electronic manufacturer that's sparking inspiration in New York City if that woman there with the pink hair and the mask looks familiar it's our lady Ada it's me yeah and uh, we're so happy and so thankful for the folks at the North American Manufacturers Association they've helped us a lot um, with guidance and links and surveys and things to fill out and things to apply for and things to uh, do and people could to connect with over this last month um, we were talking to them before this and then during this we said hey like as a manufacturer there's a lot of things that we're trying to figure out um, do you have resources can you help us what are the things so thank you very much well, well now soon we're now a member um, of the North American Manufacturers Association and they just happened to have a story that came out around the same time so thank you everyone over there uh, for that. We're in Business Insider this week. This is uh, manufacturing news. You know, Business Insider no normally doesn't cover manufacturers. Um, so Rosalind has a really good article about Adafruit. Um, check that out. I want to talk about manufacturing in New York right now. So uh, this is Governor Cuomo. I watch this every day. I watch Bellasio every single day. They have daily updates. And um, so folks are asking us, you know, when is Adafruit going to be shipping every order instantly? Well, if you order right now, we do ship it. Um, we've we've made that clear because we're through most of the essential orders. We still get you know a fair amount a day, but now we have the capacity, so you can place an order. It'll start shipping um, around the 15th of May. It looks like there's going to be some type of businesses in phase one that can do more. So it's construction and manufacturing. Now we've already been operating as an essential business, so we're going to make sure that we uh, reopen smart. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to probably keep the same amount of people we have. We'll add a few as it makes sense. Um, but that's probably going to be the next thing. In about two weeks, you'll start to see more types of business. Um, the other thing, um, you're starting to see this around town here. So this is right across the street from Adafruit. Um, they, they got this uh, poster done yeah, real fast. So Disney is building a building across the street from Adafruit. I they're still building it too. They're still building it. I, I do believe they're they're prob there maybe there's a reason it's considered essential or maybe not. Maybe this is Disney and they just do what Disney Disney wants. Um, but you're starting to see you know the same guidelines around in construction and manufacturing. They have protocols and they have things that you do. So I understand why construction and manufacturing because they're used to helmets. They're used to masks. They're used yeah. to following strict things. So um, we'll start to see that, and I'm interested in um, how we reopen as a society and how we do it safe because there's no going back there's yeah. only ways forward um so another thing about manufacturing more new york city has a sector advisory council large businesses small businesses public health labor arts culture tourism nonprofit, social services and uh, one thing that i'm really interested in is for the other part of this it's called the fair Re recovery task force which makes sure when we recover we're now talking to businesses like a woman-owned manufacturing company Adafruit. So, um, Fred, Who hires New Yorkers. Yeah. So Fred Wilson is a well-known venture capitalist in New York City. Fred Wilson has helped a lot in the computer science and education mm -hmm. uh, arena for New York City schools. And what I'm hoping is when we return to this new type of work, that Adafruit will get a chance to be part of the New York City educational curriculum. We manufacture the electronics that a lot of New York City schools use, but there's also... A lot of other companies from overseas or around, you know, diverse places in the world that have like not so great cheap electronics that are used in the school systems. Well, we have low cost, great electronics that's made here in New York City. So I'm hoping a technologist like Fred knows like, oh, yeah, there's this Adafruit company. They do open source hardware. They do open source hardware. They do. They're the We're the engine that powers a lot of New York startups. Yeah. And so if you are in a technology startup that probably got funding from uh, Union Square Ventures, you probably use our stuff if it's any type of hardware startup. Yeah. So I'm excited by that. The other thing I'm excited by is Adafruit is now FDA registered. Um, we'll have a post about this soon. We've been doing so many things with things that are somewhat r regulated or um, in the world of medical now. So we went ahead and made sure that we're doing everything right. So now we're FDA registered. Um, 
On that note, this is a giant stack of face shields that uh, Lady Ada is standing next to. These are all the materials for it, and these are the things that we're making. There, look at it. It's like, see, it's so tall. Yeah, we have a lot going on. Um, we want to make sure that we have enough face shields if there's a, another wave, and we're also still supplying those to hospitals in New York. Uh, Dano got a chance to play with these fever scanners. He wanted to test out the... Um, Oh, that's fun. Yeah, you want to test out how hot it was and if it would detect a fever. Um, every single person at Adafruit has a, a temperature, uh, their temperature taken every day. We do that um, since the beginning because we wanted to make sure uh, it's just one of the things that you can do and it's one of the things that we do. We also have the fever scanners that will, uh, in a group of people, it'll say, you know, if someone has a fever, or they'll just tell their that's temperature. That's the thing I hacked in the video. Yeah. Cool. Um, here is a fun uh, sped up. This is us cutting... Um, the face shields using a Glowforge um, that helps expedite some of the cutting of these things. Zoop zoop. One of the... Um, a speed demon. Yeah. One of the uh, things that I've taken on is uh, I've been talking to doctors that um, are on the front lines in here in New York City and they said, you know, here's the ways that people are getting this and here's some of the things that you can do. So shared restrooms are uh, one of the things that I was concerned about, and one of the things you can do is use various disinfectants, be on a regular schedule, make sure you're using something like a 1 to 100 bleach solution. There's lots of things you can do, and we're doing that. So we have three floors, and we have a very strict protocol, and that's managed to keep us safe over the last 50-ish days. Um, the other thing we decided to do is we now have a um, defibrillator on each floor. Because if something does happen, and you know we don't have a workforce that has any conditions like this, but you never know, um, we have a defibrillator on each floor. Because what I'm worried about is it's hard to get medical service to come to you to do something like this. So we, at least we have this now. You see these in restaurants and airplanes, and yeah, they're required lots of in, in some buildings. Where you know we're not one that requires them, but we yeah. thought. Especially since, you know, we had people still working and you know, EMS and when, was saying like, hey, we're, we're booked. Yeah, and when, when we have a smart return to work, I want to make sure that if something comes up, we're over-prepared. Yeah. We have everything possible. So I want to yeah. be able to operate in a way that like, okay, if something happens like someone's having a heart issue, we can at least uh, help them long enough for help to arrive. Yeah. And now this is one of the things that does that. And then it uh, wouldn't be a New York City, New York City factory footage. Uh, without a sped up. So this is the construction that's going across the street from Adafruit right now. And uh, I'm adding one thing. I'll try to remember to do this each week. But uh, every Friday we have an all company meeting called State of the Fruit. Used to do it in person, now we do it virtually. And uh, People that are at the office, uh, we have a small team, you know, we have the staggered shifts, but uh, the entire team, 135 plus people, we all come together and we talk about what's going on. And uh, it's only half an hour, but um, we this is a tradition that we've done in the past and we've carried it on. And one of the things uh, that I wanted to talk about just want for one second, if you don't have an all company weekly meeting and an emergency comes up, a crisis comes up, then you have to start that whole process. And it's scary for people. It's scary or whatever. And then when things aren't going on, if you have an all-company meeting, it's like, uh-oh, it's layoff time or something. So yeah. if you're someone who works at a company or if you're someone who runs a company, you know, don't – there's a lot of things that I can't wait to leave behind, like infections and viruses. But one of the things I, I'm, I'm hopeful that a lot of people keep and bring with them yeah. is the idea that you can communicate with your team on a regular basis in a variety of ways and keep them – involved and give them all the information as transparent as possible um today we tweeted this is another payroll day that's right today we paid everyone that's right everyone and the reason we're able to do that is because we built a strong stable company together to get through this we have no layoffs no cut hours no furloughs all the contractors are paid the cleaning service that we use we're paying them so they pay their team because if we don't they have to let those people go so we're doing it all and if we can do it others can do it um, we're not going to be able to do it forever, but if we can continue to do a good job, people staying home, flattening this curve, we'll be able to go back and we'll recover. Yeah. We got through Sandy. We got through other things. We'll get through this. Um, thank you, everyone who's placing orders, especially tonight. It's very much appreciated. That'll help get us through it. So that's our um, Made in New York City uh, uh, segment this week.